heard from several players today reacting to the news of Pat's passing. Our Jamie Leary is live at Mile High. And Jamie, the one thing we continued to hear from former players was that Pat Bolin made them feel like family. Many of them knew him as Mr. B. He was a big part of so many players' lives. But I think in a way, he was also part of the lives of Denver Broncos fans. So many of them have been stopping by here to pay tribute and drop flowers. Back over at the Boys and Girls Club, it was a different kind of tribute, a nod to all that he did for this community. Former Broncos running back Terrell Davis and former wide receiver Rod Smith explained to community members and to the kids, while well, it was a sad day, it was an important day to celebrate. Now, some of the kids may not know who Pat Bolin was, but they thought it was very important to let them know. Both players saw back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories under Bolin and talked about his influence on them, his friendship, and spoke about how giving back to the community, specifically to the Boys and Girls Club, was his world. It's a, it's a lot of great people around here. Pat, Pat Bolin's always wants to let those people shine, and, and this is just one of those facilities. And I just want those kids to remember that this guy was a part of their life, you know, and we might not ever get to see him again in the physical, but his work is always here. Pat Bolin once said, nobody's going to care whether the team is worth a billion dollars or whatever. That doesn't matter. It's more about how successful you are as an organization and as a team on the field and in the community. And Michael, I think that's exactly how people are going to remember him. I think that's exactly right, Jamie. Thank you so much. Now, the Broncos will hold a public memorial service for Pat Bolin. It will be on Tuesday at the stadium at the club level. It will include memorabilia, pictures. Members of the Bolin family will also be there to meet and greet with the fans as they pay honor to their father's legacy. That will be from 10 a.m. Tuesday morning until 3 p.m. again on the club level at Broncos Stadium at Mile High. We will have more on the life and legacy of Pat Bolin coming up on the CBS 4 News at 6 o'clock.